Hello everyone, Dr. Kevin Zadai with you with Warrior Church. Welcome to this week. We have a good subject this week and we're excited about it. We're all here in Destrehan, Louisiana, and we are believing God for miracles in your life all over the world. But see, Warrior Church is about meeting together and getting into agreement and hearing the Word of God, but then also uh, being able to minister to each other and discuss things among yourselves and have fellowship, pray for each other, and then um, bring in uh, people that don't maybe know uh, Jesus like you do and, and, and get them saved. So this, we're excited this week. This week, we're gonna be talking about how to wage local warfare. So, you know, um, Paul said you gotta wage a good warfare. And um, he talks to, to Timothy about waging a good warfare yeah. and taking the prophecies that you've received and waging a good warfare with those prophecies. And, and today I wanna to talk about how you can do that locally and there's, there's one thing that you might have overlooked. You see, um, when you do something from the Spirit of God and you do it in your, from your heart, from revelation, and it comes forth, you have to remember that it might, um, it might appear to be a thought of, uh, that came to you, but it's really was the voice of the Spirit in your spirit. Yeah. It's from the other realm. Yeah. There's a transfer of what God is doing in the Spirit coming into this realm. And so you don't worry about the world. You don't worry about what's going on in the government and, and everything around you. You, were, you. you are concerning yourself, focusing on Jesus and what the Spirit of God is saying, and then you bring that forth. Okay, so you can locally wage war in your, in, and I'm not talking about uh, a physical war. I'm talking about a spiritual war that is, that is, go, comes into the physical through your giving. And I'm not just talking about money and we're going to get into that. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for Warrior Church and I thank you for the spirit of wisdom and revelation and knowledge of you. I thank you that you anoint us with a yoke breaking anointing and that we're going to see many come into the kingdom and we're going to understand that Jesus is the center of everything and he is the commander of our faith. He is the salvation. He is our salvation. He is the son of God. He's, he's seated at the right hand of the Father, and He has been given the name above all yes. names. And I thank you for that, Lord, for exalting Him. And Holy Spirit, we just ask for help right now yes. in the name thank of Jesus. You. Okay, so when you actually give to, to your uh, local body of believers, if you give something, like so if you pray for somebody and you, and you impart healing, you pray for their healing. If you give anything locally to, to the body locally, whether it be food or, or, um, or, or monetary money or, or just a hug or a love, or if you, you uh, rebuke the devil over somebody, if you, if you pray for somebody, you're giving to the local body, you're waging war locally, okay? So you, you, we can do something over the internet and we can speak to the world and we can have thousands of people watching. And when we do that, we have global prayer and we pray for people, well, we're affecting the whole world uh, because people all over the world are connecting and then they're, they're, they're getting touched locally. But then them locally, if they have Warrior Church during the week, and they and, and you all are sitting there in your groups and you minister to the body there that's local warfare okay so if you take of your substance and you minister to people you give them uh, food or water or or love you just hug people you pray for people whatever you do locally you're waging a local warfare so think about this you receive you receive the word through the teaching of warrior notes, but then warrior church is, then after you've received it, then you mm -hmm. disperse it locally. And then all of a sudden, there's a connection all over the world. Now that you're affecting your local yeah. area, yeah. and now you've become warrior notes, you've become warrior church, you become a minister of the gospel, you become an ambassador, and, and uh, you know you might be called to teach, you might be called to help help someone else, or you might be called a pastor. You, you know, there's all kinds of things that can happen out of this, but there there is some principles here that I want to go over about waging local warfare, and that it's not just your authority. Sometimes it's just the fact that God gives you something, and you make that transition from the spiritual realm to the physical by giving it. Okay, so if you have a word, you give it. If you have 
uh, if you feel the healing power of God in, in your hands like I do, I feel the healing power of God, it burns in my hands and I want to just lay hands on people. Well, if you give that, it goes from you to the other person. And if they receive and they believe, they can receive healing from that impartation. This is what is taught in the Bible, laying hands on the sick yeah. and they will recover. They shall recover. Okay. Uh, when, when the wicked, you know, when the wicked borrow, it says this in Psalms 37, 21 in the New Living Translation, it says, when the wicked borrow, they never repay, but the godly are generous givers. Okay, so there's this idea that godly people are givers, but they don't have to borrow, and they they and if they did borrow, they would repay it. But the idea that I want to I want to emphasize here is the godly are generous givers. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's waging war. So did you know that if you give of yourself in some way, whether it be monetarily, food, time, prayer, whatever. When you do that, you're, you're being un, unselfish. You're, you're investing in someone else. Well, that's local warfare. You're, you're transferring something that is yours to someone else. Okay, so when you do that, you are driving out the devil because if, even if it was money, you're, you're giving to someone and you're causing lack to disappear. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's warfare. Because there's, you know, among all of you right now in your group, there, there, there's at least one or two people that are in lack right now. And the body is supposed to minister to each other and so that there is no lack. Now, I know that for a fact. I know that God gives to people so that there's equality. Mm -hmm. You know, so no matter what, if you're having a hard time, then someone else is having a good time, then you, you can minister and make it equal. Okay, so if, if, if someone's having a hard time, then you who this week you are, you are, you are feeling the joy of the Lord and you are in the victory, then you need to transfer that victory to your warrior church. You know, you need to minister from that. If you have extra money and the Lord is speaking to your heart, then you need to, you need to consider what God wants you to do with that. It might be nothing, but if God tells you to give, then you need to give. So Jesus was clear. He said in, in Matthew 10, 18, 10, 8, in um, the New King James Version, it says, he was, it was a command, it wasn't a request. He said, heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out demons, freely you have received, freely give. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, I'll cast out devils, you raise, you raise the dead. No, it's like, he said all of this as though, like there wasn't one easier than the other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he said it in the same sentence, same authority, same command. Um, you know, you don't get to pick and choose. Okay, so this is an audit. This is kind of like a, a test to see where you're at. There should, you should have no problem with believing God for raising the dead. It's, it should be no harder. And even though we're not seeing this like we want to see it, that doesn't take take this yeah. verse out of the Bible. Okay, so freely you have give, you have received, freely give. That's my point here. So and, Andrew, you know, um, I wanted you to comment. Um, what, what are some of the things that, that uh, Warrior Church can discuss about this? Because, you know, we're, we're learning as warriors that just because we don't see something doesn't mean that we back off of it. Just, it's still the Bible, right? I mean, that's our authority, right? Yeah. So to wage w local warfare, we're going to have to take a stand, aren't we? We're going to have to say, you know what? I'm going to pray for the sick. Even if people don't recover, I'm going to keep praying for the sick. For sure. Uh, one of the things I was thinking about when you were saying wage local warfare is, um, you know, freely we've received, now we need to give back. And uh, it, it, there's kind of a transference when it even comes to natural things. Like my wife and I bought a house. Yeah. And when we bought the house, we dedicated the home to the Lord. And I uh, positioned in my heart that anybody that comes to my door is going to get witness to. Because if they're there, they're there for a reason. And wow. God allowed them to be there for a purpose. And um, I've seen people, you know, I've led people to the Lord. 
and they've gotten filled with the Holy Spirit just because they knocked on my door. And I think about the waging local warfare as something that, like, it, it can be as local as, like, somebody coming to your house door. Wow. Right? Yeah. And just because they're there selling something or trying to, you know, <laughs> you know do anything else, hey, I, I know it's game on and you're here because I gave this house to the Lord and I gave my local area to the Lord and I'm going to take it back for him. Um, so that's just what I was thinking about when waging local warfare, that it, it doesn't have to just be, you know, in your local body, um, which we need to agree and stand for people's healing and things like that. But it can also be something that, you know, a, something that God gave you as a natural gift that now you go to war in the business or the marketplace and take back the kingdom in the marketplace. Um, I was in door like business to business sales and. I knew that if a customer sat down with me and there was one question about God or anything that came up, it was, it was an open door to start a conversation and, and lead them to the Lord and really go deeper um, than where they were. And so that's what I think of like local warfare is bringing God wherever you are and just w knowing that it's going to happen if, if, if there's an opportunity. Mm, good. good. Thank, you. Thank you, Andrew. Past Pastor Chris, um, what, what, is it, what is it that you see with people that you know, like, because you you do a lot of witnessing, you know, for for um, for the Lord, and, and you've done a, you've done this in different areas. But what is the major like? What are the some of the things you've learned or major sticking points when you try to present the truth to somebody? And what are some of the standard things that you've learned? Just like with the interchanging, like how people to to break their to break to break their. Uh, to say, let's say it's the resistance to, to the gospel. What are some of the things that you've noticed? Uh, like when you go locally somewhere and you're waging war in this, you know, with, with this, what are some of the things that you encounter? Uh, have you noticed with people? What's their biggest sticking point about accepting Jesus? For me, uh, what I've noticed a lot of times is, is just the relig religion, re religious spirit where the, they'll say, well, I go to church. Well, I didn't, I didn't ask you that. I'm asking, do you have a relationship with Jesus? Yeah. Well, I'm Catholic, and I've done this and been in yeah. church for my whole life. And I'm like, okay, but do you know Jesus? And to get through that, um, and what I've always noticed is when I begin to just, what, what flows out of me naturally is when I just begin to tell them about my testimony and say, you know, I used to be depressed, and I used to uh, not want to live, and, and I knew there was something else, you know, something different, and I gave my heart to God, and, and then my heart was healed. And it's like this, these uh, walls become, you know, start to come down. Uh, just a quick little uh, testimony. My wife and I went to dinner, and the waiter, um, she was going like crazy. All these places. And I told yeah. my wife, I was like, we're going to give her a big tip, you know, whatever. <laughs> um, and then she came to our table, and I said, hey, you know, I don't know if, uh, if you live here or whatever, but here's our card. I gave her one of our church cards from Pastor Ryan. And I said, I just want to let you know that Jesus loves you and has his plan for your life. And she said, Wow, she says, this is so awesome because I've had six people die in my family this year, which, wow. you know, was last year. And I was like, wow. She goes, I need Jesus. <laughs> it was just like this open door, but I didn't, you know, say you got to come to our church or you got to, you know, this God, God, God. It was just a nice little relationship. And then it just, my wife was there smiling and everything. And it was like those walls came down and we were able to say, hey, you know what? Jesus loves you and has a plan for your life. And it just, it flows more natural like that. Um, but to answer your question, it's, it's, there's a form of godliness, but they don't know, know the Lord. And, and just, you go past that and say, hey, Jesus loves you. He loves you so much and he knows what you're going through. So that always helps out when I go that route. Well, that's good, Chris. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So, so you see, you see some of the things that you need to discuss here is that how, how is it uh, how is it in your life right now? You think, well, I don't have money. Um, I can't, I can't do that. I, yeah. But do you, do you have the ability to lay hands on somebody? Do you have the ability to, to ask Jesus to give you a word of encouragement for somebody? Do you have, um, what, what do you have within you that you've received from the Lord and that you can wage war with that, uh, locally with that by, by just, uh, pronouncing, that that God has been faithful. That that yeah, that you have a testimony, and and so uh, discuss these things, um, and remember that that you can always pray for people's healing. You can always pray uh, for for their deliverance. You can always pray that um, that that discouragement goes by giving them a good word, giving them courage. 
Uh, you know, you can. There's a lot of things. Sometimes people just need to know that somebody understands. You know, yeah. it's amazing. I I actually remember as a young Christian talking to people, and just sharing my heart and just the fact that they they understood they go oh, no i get it i get it exactly that was what i needed i just needed to know someone else right. uh understood what, what what i was going through and yeah. you know as a a new i mean i'm i'm a different person than i was 40 years ago when i got born again because um i i didn't understand warfare like i understand warfare now i mean i didn't understand that man emotions and things like that they'll mess they'll just mess you up and circumstances will mess you up but when you get together uh, in a local body in a local uh, setting and you 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 are a believer that is generous because God has blessed you with many things even if it's just spiritual things that uh, spiritual gifts and that you can you let the Lord use you that or just getting a word for somebody or just giving them some food or giving them uh, some water or you know just anything or say, hey, listen, if you ever want to talk, you know, give me a call. Those kind of things, whatever it is that you can do, this drives out devils. Mm -hmm. So discuss this and, um, and, um, and find out what people are going through. I was surprised, you know, like at all our meetings, we, we have uh, uh, times where people give, you know, what are you going through? What are you, what some of the subjects you want me to talk about? Things like that. And you find out what people are going through and then you realize, wow, you know, that people, they, they don't want to always reveal some of the things mm -hmm. that are happening because they, they think, they, they get isolated and they think that this is um, not really common and that, you know, but you'd be surprised how many people, uh, you know, are going through the same thing. And if yeah. you just knew that, you know, you, you, you'd, uh, so that's what you need to do as a group. So discuss yeah. these things and discuss how, you can do by giving out of yourself how you can wage war locally and, and just push the devil out. And um, we're going to pray for you right now. Um, Kathy, did you have anything you wanted to say? Are you okay? Well, I think a good scripture to back up what you're saying is that perfect love drives out fear. Well, that's good, yeah. And in order for us to um, wage war locally, it's getting out of ourselves. So we have to, it's, it's like an act of love. Like if yeah. I don't feel happy but I'm at the laundromat picking up clothes and I'm like, I'm going to smile, you know, I'm yeah. going to sow that seed. That's yeah. like me releasing love. And then it's going to drive out what's working in that person. So um, that, and then it says to him who has shall more be given and to him who has not, even that which he has shall be taken away. And the point of that is, is even if you don't feel like smiling, you smile, then the next smile comes easier. Mm -hmm. You know, the next handshake, you know, you grab that you can tell they're sad and you just grab their hand, hey, let's pray real quick, you know, yeah. and then it just develops a flow. That's good. Don't you know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's pray for everybody. Father, thank you so much. We agree at Warrior Church is touching yes. this one thing that we will be faithful to wage war locally yes. by your spirit, by your word. And we're going to allow you, Father, to impart within us something that we can give out to others and I thank you Father for the fulfillment of the body of Christ that we minister to each other supplying everything that's needed every part of the body is important and supplying to the whole and I thank you for it Father that you're fulfilling your purpose on the earth and I thank you Lord God everyone will be built up and encouraged no one will be left out and everyone that is in lack will be supplied in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Well, God bless you. And thank you for joining us this week on Warrior Church. And we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.